Okay, so today's workshops were about self-esteem and self-image. I work with a lot of bereaved children, and a big part of bereavement is that gets overlooked sometimes is that children's self-esteem often hits rock bottom. And over the, the period that I've been working with the children, which is some 14 years, I guess now, I, I see gaps within that work. So I'm looking to develop some activities to fill those gaps. And the two we did today are both of those types of activities, both looking at self-esteem and both that, that can be used with, I use them with the children from five up to 18 years old. So the, the, the first exercise with the mirrors, initially they, they get a mask that's so concealed, so I get them to close their eyes. With the group today, I use blindfolds, but I wouldn't do that with children, obviously. But um, it was, it was the idea is that they shut their eyes and they feel around it, and then I get them, I put it away again, and then I get them to open their eyes and draw what they've, what they think that they've, they've been handling. And the idea of the mask is that sometimes we have masks and we're not aware that we've got masks. So it's talking a bit about masks and what masks are used for, and then we move on and use some mirrors. So they have two mirrors. The first one, I get them to think about, they look in the mirror, and then they think about what do people see when they look at me. And then and I get them to write those down on post-its and just dot them anywhere on the mirror they like. And then I get them to think about which ones of those are they quite happy that people think about them? Which ones do they think are kind of, well, they're true, but I'm not, I'm not you know, I have to accept that, yeah, but I'm not, it doesn't sit too great, but I accept that they are, they are how I am. And then the ones at the bottom are the ones that they just want to disregard and say, well, I don't want any time for those. And then I get them to repeat the same kind of activity, but using the other mirror and a different colour post-it. And they look at that, and then they look at how they see themselves and all things about themselves, warts and all, anything like that. And then they arrange it in the same order. And then we can look at the things that they're proud of and things that they want to promote about themselves and we look at the things they want to get rid of. So how can we then enact some change to help them towards doing that? And how can they actually get, how can they present themselves in a different way so that other people perceive them in a, in a different light? So that's that first activity, um, the mirrors. The second activity um, around the butterflies is also around self-esteem. But we're looking at how we, we use the, the, the cycle of the butterfly a little bit um, in, in, in how we kind of get that started um, and the uh, stages that people go through. And it's, it's linked into some work done by Joyce Mills around the, the imaginal discs and then and there's been seeds for change. And then I get them to have a, a butterfly that comes in two parts. And on the body of the butterfly, I get them to write of the things about themselves that they're really kind of proud of, their special bits. And then they, the, top, the top one, they can cut a window in. So if they don't, want any other, they don't want other people to know about those special bits and they want to keep it private, or some, some of the people that I've worked with have said, I'd kind of like, like to be able to see them now and again, just to remind myself. So you can cut a little window in the top. So they can, because it, 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 it's card, it'll flick back down. So they do that and then they decorate the butterfly in any way they like. And it represents, you know, like some of them today did some beautiful butterflies and, and the care that goes into that. And it's reflecting, you know, it's special about them is the bit in the middle really. And then the, the rivet, the, it's riveted together and then you can hang it. So you can just kind of hang it in your window or something. So that's the second activity. Mm -hmm.